I know how many people will come out and say whatever for him. That's his power. That's why I wrote this op-ed. Is I was speaking to that phenomenon. How many people will come out in support of him and will fall to his power? This is Amber Heard willingly admitting to the jury that she wrote the Washington Post op-ed because she felt threatened by Johnny Depp. And that, ladies and gentlemen, made her lose the case. Whether or not her appeal will stand depends on how well she will convince the judges of the uppermost court. But the sorry truth is that the actress messed up in Virginia. And that tragedy is likely to catch up with her in the coming days. So just how bad did the Drive Angry star wreck her appeal chances? Let's find out. In the trial's final week, both Depp and Amber took to the stand one last time. And Amber spoke of the op-ed that sparked this lawsuit in the beginning and stated to the jury that she wrote the piece because of her ex-husband's power. I know so many people will come out and say whatever for him. That's his power, Amber said. That's why I wrote the op-ed. I was speaking to that phenomenon. Have a listen again. I know how many people will come out and say whatever for him. That's his power. That's why I wrote this op-ed. I was speaking to that phenomenon. How many people will come out in support of him and will fall to his power? He is a very powerful man and people love currying favor with powerful men. A number of witnesses, including Depp's ex-girlfriend Kate Moss, directly contradicted some of Amber's allegations during the trial. I, um, we were leaving the room and Johnny left the room before I did and there had been a rainstorm and as I left the room I slid down the stairs and I screamed because I was in because uh, I didn't know what had happened to me and I was in pain and um, he came running back to help me and carried me to my room and got me medical attention. This admission from the Justice League actress about the supposed power that Depp wields caused a stir on social media. With one TikTok of the moment with the caption, she just admitted it, she's done, clocking up almost 150,000 views. This admission is likely to play a major role in the court of appeal, as Depp's lawyers are believed to be planning to base their argument on it. Before her legendary slip of the tongue, the Texas-born screen star insisted that the 2018 op-ed she wrote for the Washington Post, which is at the center of the whole case wasn't directed toward Johnny Depp. Amber emphasized that the article is about what she endured after escaping her marriage and that she was trying to raise awareness around some of the issues she mentioned in it. The only one who made it about him, ironically, is Johnny, she told the court. At the time, almost everyone believed her. For the uninitiated, the article in question is titled, I spoke up against sexual violence and faced our culture's wrath. That has to change. While Amber hasn't mentioned Depp in the article, she just described herself as a public figure representing domestic abuse. Taking to the stand after a one-week break, the mother of one answered if she had any ill will or bad intentions toward Depp while publishing the op-ed. Amber insisted none. She mentioned that the article was initially drafted by the American Civil Liberties Union, for which she was an ambassador, in order to discuss women's issues. I was trying to raise awareness around some of the issues that I just mentioned, she said. Amber also added, it's not about Johnny. The only one who thought it was about Johnny is Johnny she continued. It's about what happened to me after I escaped my marriage. It was about me and my life and what I endured. In the article, Amber mentioned the culture's wrath that women face after they come forward with domestic violence allegations. Like many women, I had been harassed and sexually assaulted by the time I was of college age, but I kept quiet. I did not expect filing complaints to bring justice, and I didn't see myself as a victim, she wrote. A few weeks later, the Three Days to Kill actress would make the blunder of her life, admitting that, in fact, she wrote the piece because Depp was powerful, and that's the only way she was able to get back at him. That before the court of appeal is outright malice, and she will likely welcome the same verdict as the one she is trashing. And that's it from this video. Until next time, bye!